Good day everyone, I am Phil and here we are in front of a modern multi-level house for sale here in Palos Verde, Antipolo Rizal. Once again, this is your dream home. Alright, so let us start our house here, but once again, please do click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also follow us on our social media accounts. All the links will be in the description box below. You can check more of our listings through the social media website, which is also in the description box. Right, so let us start our house tour and this is the front view part of her house and as you can see this is a dark themed house no but uh ito ay dark theme lang in the facade only no but we will see a lot of greater uh color tone combinations once we enter inside of her house and over here to my uh, right side this is your car gate that will lead you to your five car parking space right so now let's proceed over and go to the pedestrian gate and as you can see this property is placed on a corner lot unit that's why we will see a lot of windows accommodating the overlooking view the ventilation natural light that will flow in and out of your house and as you can see you have a lot of provision where you can put your greeneries no in the exterior part of your house right and this gate is the pedestrian gate or the man gate yeah, so once you enter in your pedestrian gate, you will be welcomed by your covered porch area, right? So let's proceed. Yeah, so let's first tour the outer area of your house before proceeding and entering using your main door. Yeah, and as you can see, no, you have here a general space where you can put up your greeneries, no, and it is very relaxing. No, maraming halaman, no, maraming uh, oxygen, right? Yeah, and now let's go over over here to the uh, lower ground level no a little bit of information about this house this is a multi-level house you have here your lower ground level your ground level and your second floor All right so here on the basement or your lower ground level this is where the five car parking space is located now and also a little bit of disclaimer this house is currently under renovation that's why may kita natin yung uh, mga materiales at mga inaayos pa but this is the basement or the lower ground level where the maid's room and the driver's room is located and also a uh, laundry area and, and your five car parking space so now let's go up and proceed to the other side of this house And so as you can see, you also have here uh, a provision where you can put up your water fixture. No, very nature endearing yung outer area ng inyong bahay. And this is the other side of this house. So you have here a 2 meter setback and also a faucet for water provision. Yan, and your plant box. And over here, this area can serve as your uh, service area no, where you can do laundry or cleaning activities. You have a lot of spaces for water provision and for cleaning purposes. And this stairs will lead you to the basement no, na nakita natin kanina. Where your car parking space, maid's room, and driver's room is located. And as we proceed, this is the end part no, in yung gilid ng bahay. This is your pool area. Right. All right, so this is your pool area, and over here, sa papunta sa inyong pool area, you have here your first toilet and bath in this house. All right, and over here, this is your slide door that will lead you to the dining and kitchen area na makikita natin mame. Right, so now we're done here in this part. Let's now proceed and go back to the covered porch area. So just like what I've said earlier, no, this house is currently under renovation, but uh, everything will be fixed, no, hundred percent. Pagka tinan over na yung bahay. And so now we are here once again on the covered porch area. And so, so this is your covered porch area, and you have here your cove lighting, in your ceiling, and PVC ceiling, which gives off a wood element design. And once again your greeneries in your covered porch area to set the vibe to set the mood and your main door which is made of uh, solid wood and so now let's enter welcome to your dream home
All right, so now we are here on the on inside of your house, and this is your living area. As you can see, it is very spacious, and you have a lot of windows, sliding doors, no, sliding uh, windows that will accommodate natural light and ventilation, no, in this uh, property we, where it, uh, where in it is located on a corner lot unit. And so this is your living area. You have your double, you have your high ceiling, yeah. So also have here your cove lightings. No, in your uh, ceiling and your tiles which is 40 by 40 centimeters and and also as you can see in here you have open shelving design and also on the back part of your door you have your open shelving design your uh, spirit type aircon sliding windows and your tv table set just like the setup that we have in here this is where you can set up your tv appliances and a lot of things also this is where you can put up your sofa all right, and this is your sliding door, which I'm telling you earlier. So you can access your pool area, kag uh, kagaya ni ginoo natin kanina, or using this one. Right. So you have your non-split tiles and your ladder that will lead you to the pool area. And so now let's go back and proceed to your dining and kitchen area. Yeah, so as you can see underneath of your stairs, no, you can also utilize this place up as your storage area where you can put up a lot of your things. And this door will lead you to the office area or the elderly room. And so you have here your split type aircon, your pin lights, and also sliding windows for natural light and for ventilation. And so this is the first bedroom or the first room in, in this house. And these stairs will lead you to the lower ground level or the basement that you also have seen earlier. You also have your chandelier lights or your hanging lights. Yeah. And proceeding. Yeah, so just like what you have seen, this is an open layout concept design of your living, dining, and kitchen area. So in your dining area, you can perfectly set up your 10-seaters dining table. And you have here your sliding door, which gives you a view of your pool area. And also an access then towards your pool area. And uh, you have also here your open shelving design. No, uh, You can utilize this place up just like what you are seeing right now. No, This place for paintings, for pictures. And it is very great and it says the mood for your dining area and also this is your kitchen area you have here your island countertop which is quartz finish you can add here chairs to serve as breakfast nook and and this is your cooktop and range hood for your uh, kitchen area right and a lot you have a lot of cabinets for additional storage space and your double type sink and faucet owning window for natural light and for ventilation and, and also you have here a space where you can put up your double door refrigerator. Yeah, so now we are done touring the ground floor or the first uh, the first level. Let's now proceed to the second floor. And this right here is your family or your entertainment area. Yeah, so you have here a lot of sockets for additional appliances and your open uh, shelving. No, uh, you can put up this place and pictures also all right and in the second floor this is our where the bedrooms is located you also have your pin lights and also high ceiling yeah now let's proceed here on the first door and this will lead you to the uh, first bedroom right, so this is the first bedroom and this can be the daughter's room and so bakit daughter's room so you have here a lot of Sockets for additional appliances, this is where you can put up your king or queen size type of bed. No? So this room is very spacious. And, and over here, you have your, a desk where you can set up your vanity mirror. And also underneath, you can put up your things. That's why this is the daughter's room. And it's para for uh, makeup purposes. And right here, this is your sliding door that will lead you to a view of your pool area and your subdivision and so you have here Juliet's balcony and proceeding this is the toilet and bathroom for the daughter's bedroom so you have here your shower space shower space your tiles which is from floor to ceiling you have your bidet toilet sink faucet and your mirror right so now we are done touring this room let's now proceed to the next one Right, so this is the 
uh, sans room yeah so you have here your uh, bed and also your headboard right here pin lights installed your steel type aircon sliding window and also a desk right here where you can utilize the space as your computer table set and so perfect for students or for workers and right here you have a cabinet no for your uh, things for storage space and this is the toilet and bathroom for this bedroom and so you have your tiles which is from floor to ceiling your shower space toilet bidet mirror and your sink and so now let's proceed and so this one is um, the third bedroom and so or this can be also an office area and so it's up to you how you utilize this, this bedroom you have your cove lightings your pin lights installed and and also your sleep type aircon and right here is a desk where you can utilize or set this play desk as your tv table set and your cabinet yeah so you in every bedroom you have a unique design you no know, it's a spacious all right, so this is the toilet and bathroom for this bedroom. Your shower space, your toilet, your bidet, and your mirror with your sink and faucet. And this door will lead you to the master's bedroom. All right, so this is the master's bedroom. So very much spacious, spacious. No, unlike the bedrooms that we have seen earlier. So as you can see, you have your queen size type of bed and a comforting sofa right here. You have your TV table set right here and your open shelving design underneath of your TV set. And right. And, and so also you have your open shelving design no salikod ng inyong pintuan in, your, in the master's bedroom. And and this area can be the office room. And so this is the office room for the master's bedroom. And katabi niya is your sliding door that will lead you to the balcony. Yeah, so in your balcony, you have your, a view of your subdivision and also your mounting view and with refreshing air, right? So now let's proceed to the other uh, doors. Right, so this door will lead you to the toilet and bathroom for the master's bedroom. You have here your um, countertop, your basin type sink, your faucet, and your vanity mirror. Yeah, and you also have your bathtub and your shower space right here your toilet with your bidet and your tiles which is from floor to ceiling right so katabi ng inyong toilet and bathroom is the walk-in closet for the master's bedroom yeah so this is the walk-in closet so you have here a lot of cabinets and and a mirror para makita yung sarili and this is your sliding window in this walk-in closet. Right. So now we are done touring this house. Let's now proceed for additional details. So for the details of this house, you have a lot area of 422 square meters, a floor area of 720 square meters. So overall, you have here eight bedrooms, eight toilet and bath, and also you have your pool area and your five car parking space. So this house has a total price of 35 million. If you think this house is for you, kindly contact us with this number to be shown below. All right. So once again, I'm Phil and this is your dream home.